My family is horrible at technology. My sister, first of all, she just joined Twitter. I'm like, now? She's like, I'm on Twitter now, so if you tweet something funny, I'll retweet it and get your name out there. I'm like, you have three followers. I might as well just open a window and yell my joke out the window. <laughs> There's like 12 people outside. That's four times more than your Twitter account. Just close your accounts. My parents have an answering machine. I know, they still have an answering machine and a landline. I know, some of you don't know what a landline is. I, I even actually, I asked a young person, I said, do you know what a landline is? And he goes, the equator? <laughs> anyway, my parents have an answering machine, so when they're not home, there's a message that goes on, and it starts with my dad and it ends with the automated person. It's like, we're not home right now. He's not available to take your call. <laughs> My dad, my dad was supposed to, my niece had an ice skating recital and my dad was supposed to record it. And he did, he just recorded the wrong little girl. <laughs> so now we have this video of this kid. We don't even know. But she's really good. So we pretend it's my niece. My parents just celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary. Isn't that crazy, 50 years? I don't know how they do it, they make it look so hard. 50 years with the same person. I knew I had to find out what their secret was to 50 years of marriage, but I know men and women have very different answers, so I asked them separately. I said, Mom, what is the secret to 50 years of marriage? She goes, coping, coping. <laughs> I know, coping. And then I asked my dad, I go, what's the secret to 50 years of marriage? He goes, she won't die. <laughs> I was like, yeah, because she's too busy coping. <laughs> She's in the corner over there coping. Why don't you talk to her? I know my boyfriend and I will never reach 50 years of marriage. First of all, we're not even married, so we can't really start counting. And second of all, he's 50. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he's gonna make it to 100. Not if I keep putting salt in his diet. My parents are retired, and when your parents retire, all they do is call you all the time. They have nothing else to do. They just want to talk to you. My dad's like, we went to the park today. What did you do? I'm like, I went to therapy and talked about you and mom for an hour. I love therapy. Do you guys go to therapy? Is that a thing? To go to therapy? Some of you do. Good, most of you just hike. Okay. That only works for a little while. You're gonna have to go to therapy eventually. I love therapy. I love complaining to someone who can't leave the room. And I can tell my therapist wants to leave. I can see it in her face. She's tired. I've been there for so long. I just like staying and talking to her, you know? She's 75 years old, so she can't get up. It's perfect. <laughs> she even analyzes dreams, which is so fun. I tell her my dreams, she tells me what they mean. She told me that everyone that shows up in your dream is you. I know, isn't that crazy? They're all you. So one night I had a dream that this big brown bear was chasing me, and then I woke up and I was like, I need to get a bikini wax. <laughs> crazy bear from the 70s, you know what I mean? It was just a bear, calm down, it was just a bear. Some of you get it, some of you still don't get the joke. Just ask your friend after the show. I 
I'm trying to like be better about things, you know, doing things right. Like I run a lot. I just don't like to run alone. So I yell fire <laughs> and people run with me. <laughs> you just have to change the neighborhoods around or people stop believing you. <laughs> They're like, you were already here. <laughs> Two things I'm avoiding this year are gluten and conflict. That's it, no more gluten and conflict for me. So if somebody offers me a beer, I'm gonna say no thank you. It has gluten in it. And if they're like, stop being such an idiot and just drink it, I'm gonna be like, okay. <laughs> I like to read quotes, you know, like I'll go online and read some quotes. Like I read something like, I forget, like, Nobody's watching, oh, I forgot what it was. Dance or eat, dance? No, it's dance like you don't eat the money. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm also trying to focus on the present moment. You always have to stay present. You know, if you, if you think about the past, it causes depression. If you think about the future, it causes anxiety. So just always try to stay present. Ah! <laughs> like that moment? <laughs> we were all in it together in the present moment. <laughs> together. It's that easy. <laughs> My friend can't do it. She's like, I can't stay in the present moment. So I punched her in the arm really hard. And she was like, ouch, that really hurt. And I said, right when you said, ouch, that was the present moment. <laughs> and she's like, but you hurt me. I'm like, now you're dwelling on the past. <laughs> Do you need me to punch you again? <laughs> I love my friends though, I think they're great. My best friend's on Vicodin because her mom has really bad back pain. And... <laughs> Please laugh at all my jokes, I have scoliosis. <laughs> Any doctors here? They never come out, no. I love doctors, they're so great. Does anyone else confuse medical attention for love? <laughs> I mean, the other day I had a very handsome doctor come up to me and I was sick and he goes, how are you feeling? And I was like, I love you too. <laughs> I mean, how romantic. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go to the doctor's office for one thing and I'll find out something else. Like I had chest congestion and the doctor was like, your kneecaps are high. <laughs> what? I just wanted to let you know that your kneecaps are high and you need to strengthen your quads. If you strengthen your leg muscles, you don't put pressure on your knees and your kneecaps, they won't get any higher. What? <laughs> I was like, how high are they gonna go? <laughs> I don't even wanna do these leg exercises. I just wanna see where my kneecaps are gonna go. I could use a new bra. go to hospitals, I go to urgent cares. They're so much more laid back. Hospitals are so anxious. They're like, take these antibiotics for seven days, you'll feel better. Urgent cares are like, do you want antibiotics? I can get you some. <laughs> Which ones do you want? I'm like, I don't know, I'm not a doctor. He's like, neither am I. <laughs> Your kneecaps are high. I believe in Jesus, especially when there's turbulence. I'm so scared of turbulence. And you have to believe in Jesus up there because it's like his area. I get so scared of turbulence, you know? I hold on to the armrest. One time it slipped and I grabbed the thigh of the woman next to me by accident. She got so weird about it. I was like, I'm sorry. But then I wasn't afraid of flying anymore. And now I was just afraid, like, what if it happens again? 
What if there's another burst of turbulence and I kiss her? <laughs> I was upgraded recently to first class. I never get upgraded. I don't even know what it's like up there. They're so different. The flight attendants care about you so much. This flight attendant came up to me and she's like, is there anything else we can do for you? I'm like, I don't even know what that means. I'm not usually up here. What are my boundaries? Can I get a bikini wax? Can you explain Lord of the Rings to me? Can we fly somewhere 